Now as Christmas is a time for indulgence, I've got the perfect recipe for you. I'm taking all those fantastic flavours from the 70s classic of a Black Forest Gatto, but I'm going to be layering them up in a delicious trifle. Now to start off, I've got some chocolate that's just melted here, so using dark chocolate, and then I'm going to add some custard to that. And this is going to make one of the layers in the trifle, because no matter what you're doing, if you've got trifle, you've got to have custard in there. So just stir all that together. Right, so once that's all mixed together, you can have this delicious chocolate custard. And now for my next layer, I've got some mascarpone. I'm just going to add to that some caster sugar and a good splash of vanilla. And then just using a whisk, work it together. So you want to start to break down the mascarpone just to loosen it up a bit. And by using a combination of mascarpone and cream, you're going to get a really rich layer that's going to hold its shape. So just gradually work the cream in. And then that's what you're looking for, so just soft peaks, just enough to hold all of the ingredients together. And then it wouldn't be a Black Forest Gatto without cherries, and these ones are soaked in kirsch, so just drain off all of the liquid, and I'm going to use that to soak the sponges. So I've got my layers ready, and now it's time for the build. I'm going to take my trifle dish, and then for the sponge element, I'm using chocolate sponge fingers as well, just to marry all those lovely flavours together. So put some of the chocolate sponge fingers into the bottom of a trifle dish and spoon over some of that delicious Kirsch syrup. Top with some of the cherries and then spoon over a third of the cream. So, my first layer is done. Now for the next layer, I'm going in with more of those chocolate sponge fingers. More of that lovely cherry booze, straight over the top. Top with some more cherries, and then over the top with that delicious chocolate custard. And then just to make sure that layer is even, just give it a little bit of a wobble, just to make sure the cherries are covered. And then over the top with some more of the cream. And just go quite gently at this stage because you don't want to mix the cream and the chocolate. You want to keep those defined layers. And then for the final layer, it's more of those Kirsch soap biscuits, cherries, and top off with the remaining mascarpone cream. And then finally, just to decorate, take one of the sponge fingers and just crumble it over the top. And then a little bit more chocolate and just finely grate that over the top. And there we go. If ever there was a great twist on a classic, I think this is it, my Black Forest trifle.